WROI News, connecting you with your local, statewide, and national leaders. This is WROI News. Ninety-two point one WROI. It's time to take a look at that local news. Your news today is brought to you by your Fulton County REMC, your Touchtone Energy Cooperative, and by Ulrich Heating and Cooling for reasonable prices, experience, and excellent customer service. Call them today at 574-223-6307 or on their cell at 574-727-0005. Currently sitting at 59 degrees under mostly cloudy skies here in downtown Rochester. We'll have a look at that full weather forecast a little bit later on in your news. The Rochester Lake Manitow City Council met and heard from Harry Webb on the MSRP grant for the downtown project. Rochester Lake Manitow Mayor Ted Denton was our guest on WROI and explained how that process works. Has to be in the corridor, the downtown historical corridor. The project would then be managed by the city. Like I said, it's state funded, so it would need a project manager involved in the the political world. The city's involvement would be getting the bids for the work. There's some requirements for the folks bidding that have to be met, and those would be sorted through by the city. The match money would have to be collected, as Harry mentioned, before the application would be turned in for the grant. So the 20% match from anyone who's interested would be put in escrow at the city and controlled by the city clerk. The mayor then told us the decision of the council. What Harry was looking for last night, the city had already decided to sponsor the grant, but he was looking for some seated monies for skin in the game to get going with the uh, architectural fees. So the council decided that they would give $20,000 out of our seated distribution to support that program. And again, that was the Rochester Lake Manitow Mayor Ted Denton. In statewide news, Indiana legislators are trying to find a middle ground on licensing self-driving vehicles. Senate Transportation Chairman Mike Kreider says any self-driving vehicle with the federal government's seal of approval would be allowed to drive on Indiana roads. You simply have to give notification to the NDOT commissioner that you're going to be operating within a geographic area. I felt like that would allow for the NDOT commissioner to relay any concerns, uh, highway projects, bridges out, whatever. However, House Transportation Chairman Ed Soliday says the federal government hasn't set any safety standards for self-driving cars. You can run a level 4, level 5 vehicle into a brick wall, kill everybody on board, and be in full compliance with all state, federal laws and standards because there are no standards. The bill is part of Governor Holcomb's legislative agenda in the hopes of luring high-tech companies and workers here. We'll be back with a look at your full weather forecast after this. Your Fulton County REMC is proud to offer the new Faster Exceed satellite internet service. They can now connect customers to their fastest satellite internet service ever with broadband speeds up to 12 megabytes per second. For homeowners with fewer options for internet service or who live in rural areas, there's no better option than Exceed Broadband. Share photos remarkably fast. Enjoy better video chat with less jitter. Send and receive files quickly. Exceptionally fast web browsing and email. Listen to streaming music. If you're ready for a fast Faster internet connection, you're ready for Exceed Broadband. Call 574 223 3156 today to learn more about the amazingly fast Exceed Broadband service offered by your local Fulton County REMC, your Touchstone Energy Provider. And now take $50 off all new Exceed internet installs with your Fulton County REMC. Call them today. Ulrich Heating and Cooling, Rochester, offers expert sales and service in northern Indiana. Call 574-223-6307 for all your heating and cooling needs. They service all brands and all types of heating and cooling systems. For new heating and cooling products, Ulrich Heating and Cooling is proud to announce they now offer Armstrong Air, designed to deliver substantial durability, comfort, and energy efficiency. Armstrong Air is the professional's choice. Licensed, insured, and bonded, that's Ulrich Heating and Cooling, locally owned and operated for over 34 years. Again, we are sitting at 59 degrees under mostly cloudy skies here in downtown Rochester. 
Winnemac is at 59 as well. Wabash is at 58. We have a slight chance of showers the rest of the afternoon. Tonight, rain is likely after 10 o'clock, and we see a low around 45. Tomorrow, rain before 5 o'clock, then possibly mixing with snow as we see temperatures falling to around 36 by 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. Tomorrow night, that snow-rain mix will last up until about 7, and then we see a chance of snow up until about 1 a.m., and we have a low around 29. On Friday, sunny skies return to the area. We see a high near 41 and a low around 26. Saturday, sunny skies, a high near 46 and a low around 27. And then on Sunday, we see sunny skies. We have a high near 47 and a low around 33. Again, 58 degrees in Wabash, 59 in Winnemac, 59 here in downtown Rochester. This has been a look at the forecast for Rochester and all of north central Indiana. The news today was brought to you by your Fulton County REMC, home of the Exceed Broadband Connection. Fulton County REMC, your touchstone energy provider. And by Ulrich Heating and Cooling. Find out how you can save on your fuel bills with the latest in heating and cooling products. For WROI News, I'm Paul Zartman. Do you have the WROI News Tip of the Week? When you see or hear news happening, call 223-6059. If you have the top tip of the week, we'll pay you $10. That's 574-223-6059. 223-6059.